Hey, what's going on, guys? ROGG Glitch here, and today, guys, I'm showing you guys a cool gameplay. It's like an 80 plus kills and um, about like seven deaths or so. But anyways, guys, my class setup today is using the PDW um, with the knife as my secondary, just because I don't need any secondaries. So this kind of has an insanely big clip, and it works really good. But uh, yeah, I'm running Stealth Chopper, Warthog, and Load Star because I'm only level like 37 or so in this gameplay, and so I don't have any other uh, like swarms, dogs, or orbital VSATs, but Usually I'd be running those, but seriously, I could have got 100 plus this game if I was using those high kill streaks. But uh, these kill streaks did work for me though, because on this map Meltdown, that's the map I'm playing on. The load star works great because there's like two spawn points. There's one on uh, C and A, um, and then basically the rush part is in the middle, and then really the only uh, hiding part is this under tunnel right here, and then the big old dome, the actual Meltdown place thing. But uh, yeah, that's, that's this map. Uh, I did, I recommend the load star. The Warthog and the Stealth Chopper. Maybe not the Stealth Chopper. I placed that with like a Orbital V-Set. But the Warthog, every time it uh, went by, it gave me like four or five kills. But anyways, guys, it's like a big old bomb thing. It goes through. It's like a big loud thing in your headset. Rad's like, what's that sound? And then I'm like, it's a Warthog. And then, uh, yeah, so it does really good damage. And it works, works amazing. So uh, I recommend you guys trying out the Warthog if you haven't already. It's good if you can get it. But, uh, yeah, it's just really good. So try that out and then for uh, perks I'm pretty sure I'm just running a uh, lightweight um, cold-blooded and then uh, yeah cold-blooded and that's about it I'm pretty sure but I'm not sure on my class setups because I don't have a scavenger yet or a ghost but once I get to a higher level I'll be running like ghost lightweight uh, scavenger and then like dexterity or uh, extreme conditioning but, but uh, I recommend using those perks because really good and ghost will uh, give you a lot of advantage because if the opposite teams are uh, spamming UAVs, you'll have that on and be protected. But uh, also, blind eye works pretty well if the team is using like counter UAVs as well. But uh, so that's my class setup for you guys. And these guys are using tech ins ins inserts, and so I had to battle my way around those. But uh, I played pretty fast pace here. I mean, in my mind, I wasn't even thinking high kill game and just playing. I mean, I was doing bad at the beginning, uh, but I never really got any streaks like I'm doing now. So basically. Just getting mad like usual, and then running, and then finally get on my streak, and then I probably go on like a like a 50 kill streak probably, because I get my all my kills I get my kill streaks two times in a row, uh I basically get everything two times in a row, and just those kill streaks got probably like 40 of my kills because they went so crazy, and uh, I like the stealth chopper and the warthog because you can run around and get kills while that thing's getting kills, so you don't necessarily have to uh, like sit there and control your load star. That's why I'm, that's why I like using dogs or swarm or uh, orbital VSAT so I can run around while those things are going on. But uh, the only thing wrong with the uh, the little planes is that you can blow up by them to swarm. You can get blown up and then that'll end your streak. But uh, if you stay inside and away from your enemies, you should be okay. But yeah, so this PDW guys, it's really good. Um, I don't know if you call it noobish because the scorpion shoots pretty fast and it does quite a bit of damage. It's pretty accurate, but uh, this PDW is working. I mean. Mainly the guns I use on PC is just uh, some machine guns and then just the M27. I'll use AN94 when I get that, but uh, seriously, just it just works so good right here. I pick up a nice little feed right there, two headshots in a row. But uh, I thought that was pretty sweet. My teammates controlled this perfectly. Uh, when I was in my load star, they picked up the bases, and uh, I just went crazy on the load star. But uh, it was really sweet. And so we had awesome teamwork this game. I friended some people that were on the opposite team because I have like no friends uh, right now on here. I have a few, but they're building their computers uh, soon. So um, so far I'm just playing with random people. So if you want to play, uh, send me an invite. It's ROTG Clutch, same as my YouTube page or channel. So uh, yeah, check it out. It's I'm pretty fun to play with usually, and uh, it'll be a fun time. So basically just going around here, getting quite a bit of kills. I'll, I use a silencer because. Uh, well, does it does quite a bit of damage, and uh, it stays accurate, stays stealthy. That's why I picked that. But uh, I mean, I remember when the first the game first came out, I noticed that uh, the silencer brought down your damage on your gun. So I was completely against silencers at first, and then the people were using them. They were killing me before I would kill them for some reason. Now I was using like FMJ and long barrel, which gives you uh, more damage. So they were killing me before I killed them with the silencer. So I popped on the silencer, and it's it's doing just fine. So just run a silencer on this class. I don't need anything else really because this is just a good well-rounded class. Got a big mag. Don't need fast mags because 
50 mags will get you through. And so use that with just a silencer right here. And guys, this is where the load start comes in. I wait till half to call my load start because if you call your uh, stuff before, it'll actually uh, disappear and you only get to do it for like 10, 20 seconds. But uh, yeah, so I get my load start right here. And basically, I just go crazy because it's really good to use your load star um, at the half, right? Because then your team can have the advantage to go get the B flag and then uh, basically control all areas because that's what you want to do on this map. Is if you have the B flag, you will win most likely. So if you have that flag, you will be good. So right here, I call my load star, and then basically, they just spawn. They try to shoot me down. A few of them, uh, a few of them have blind eye, uh, which that is very difficult to use when you're trying to go for high kill streaks, but. Like I said, I wasn't even going for any kill streaks at all. Just playing, just having fun time. And I ended up like checking my on my uh, scoreboard. I'm like, I have like 50 kills and like five deaths. I'm like, what? And then, so I get like more kills. Use my kill streaks, and it's just going good. But uh, the still starper doesn't give me too many kills in this game. But I think dogs or swarm would do better. But for right now, this is good. The reason why I don't use that warship is because uh, it takes too much time to control. And uh, load start does the same amount of thing for the same amount of damage for less points. So that's my uh, decision right there. And load start is really good, guys. So like load star, dogs, and swarm, really good. Or orbital VSAT, dogs, swarm, very good too. So those kill streaks all work really well. And the perks, um, I don't think the perks. Well, the perks really do matter because usually I uh, I pick perks over uh, weapon attachments. So I usually run like two first perks. Uh, one second perk and then two third perks. Depends how the enemy team is playing or what they're doing. Because if they're using lots of uh, grenades, flashbangs, uh, you want to put attack mask, attack mask on or uh, flag check it, which helps you with those grenades. And so that'll be a big advantage to you in moving around and uh, kind of being stealthy. But right here in this building, uh, as you see, there's an uh, exact thing on the opposite side. Usually snipers go in there or LMG campers. And so basically go behind that, uh, stay crouched because there might be best bouncing buddies in there. And then flank them and then uh, head in there, take them out. And basically just outsmart them um, by moving around the base and kind of going into their spawn. But uh, that's what you got to do when you're trying to get the kill streaks. Is you got to flank them because going one on one is not always going to work. Especially in this game when your connection's not favored or, uh, or just guns aren't favored. So going from behind really works, um, helps out quite a bit. And so that's a good tip for you guys. Just try to pick different routes to go instead of going like straight on into the objective to die. Uh, but this game is kind of confusing. It wants you to play the objective, but usually when you uh, get on the objective, you usually die. So uh, if you if like three people hop on an objective, you get on that objective too and start capturing because that'll go really fast and uh, you'll do lots of good. So even if it's like two people, still go on there and uh, and get the objective with them. But right here, calling my load start again. Um, that big old meltdown thing's blocking me in the way, but uh, I move around it. You can actually, you know, you can change places with the VTOL, but not with this thing. So that's another disadvantage to this, but it's still really good. I do think it's better. So anyways, taking them down, they switch spawns, and they're telling me, get on B, get on B, because you can chat. And I like uh, PCs because you can hold down Z and chat at the same time, and also you can type, so if you don't have a mic, you can still communicate, and uh, they can still hear you. So it's, it's really beneficial. And uh, helps out a lot. So, I mean, the community on PC is really good. Uh, they're all fun to play with, and they're usually more skilled than uh, average Xbox or PC, PS3 players, just because of uh, like usually age. Because a uh, little kid's not going to go buy a, a extensive computer if you're like 14 or 15 or 16 or older. Then you're going to get that computer, and uh, you'll be fine. So they're a little more better and usually more mature about the game, and not as newbie. So. That's another reason why this community is a lot better, and uh, they're all really smart with computers. So if you have a trouble uh, with computers, you gotta ask them. I know this guy helped me out with my uh, DX story and recordings and like uh, live streaming software. So that helped out a ton. I'll be live streaming uh, 24 hours, um, be 24 hour live stream um, December break. And so that'll be a lot of fun. Christmas break's coming in about uh, two weeks, so I'll do that. And I got finals coming up, which is really. I need to put a lot of time into studying and everything, so videos might not come every single day uh, at the right times. That's why I'm trying to push this one in because I've been studying for a test day tomorrow. So I'm pushing this one back and then studying and sleeping and basically just uh, getting prepared. So I thought I'd, show you, thought I'd show you guys this gameplay. Pretty sweet. It's coming to an end. 
uh, they're like oh she's is a beast and then added me and so that was pretty awesome but uh, thanks for watching guys and make sure to leave a like or comment and uh, follow me on twitter facebook and subscribe goodbye